and welcome into another beverage from Tits Beer Bong 420. Good day to you. We're going to be looking at another Mr. Brown. There's apparently six of them. Three I can't find. Black coffee, vanilla coffee, and the macadamia nut one, which is the most decorated and most colorful can of them all, so it stands out. Um, the first one I did way back whenever was Blue Mountain Blend, which was supposed to be like a Jamaican blend. A little while back I did the cappuccino one. Now we're going to be looking at iced coffee. Um, the cappuccino one had a couple different ingredients. And it had the most protein of them all, 4 grams. This one looks like it's the sugariest one. And looks to have the same profile as the Blue Mountain one. Uh, it's already been cracked and poured. And it's not really a nice coffee until you add ice cubes to it, folks. 100 calories, 1.5 grams of fat, 5 milligrams of cholesterol, 100 milligrams of sodium, 20 grams of carbohydrates, 19 grams of sugar, 3 grams of protein, 2% vitamin A, 2% vitamin C, 10% calcium, water, coffee, extract, sugar, milk powder, MU sulfur, E322, product of like Taipei, Taiwan. It's from King Car Food. Who also apparently is like behind Green Time Bottle Water. Some company that does a single malt scotch whiskey. Power and Energy Drink. A nutritious vitamin drink. All of them a similar price. But even though at different times I was in the same store to get iced coffee and cappuccino. They told me to pay $1.25 for cappuccino and $1.20 for this one. So yeah, it just comes out like a brown canned coffee creamed up drink smell wise it just smells like coffee maybe a little bit of a sugar smell maybe a little bit of a cream smell taste wise um Starts off with a burst of water that immediately goes into this big burst of coffee. I guess I taste a little bit of the creaminess. I might taste the sugar a little bit, but truthfully, for 19 grams of sugar in this little beverage, it doesn't even seem that sugary. It's just a cold coffee drink. It starts off a bit watery, then BAM! Instantly this huge coffee taste. Then, maybe a little creamy taste, for sure I guess. And then I'll question mark if I taste a little bit of the sugar. And then everything kind of like mellows out, but you'll be left with your mouth tasting of the coffee and a little bit of the cream. So, it's not, so yeah. A big coffee taste, a little bit of a creamy taste, maybe a little bit of a sugary taste, and somewhere in there a little bit of a watery taste. But it just tastes like you're just like a basic coffee, not any special kind of coffee, but it doesn't say what beans they're using. But this one's supposed to be like the more sugary one or something. And it doesn't seem it. So for a very cheap small canned coffee it's 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 fine it's nothing to go crazy over but it works for a cheap small canned coffee drink